last soundbite, I mentioned that there are at least four completely different ways to learn a song. And we looked at the first of these approaches to learning, which was simply to read a chord sequence off a printed page or screen. But I also warned you that no matter how many times you play through a song reading it like this, you never really quite learn it. So you're forever reliant on carrying around a ring binder full of old song sheets or being able to access a, one of the tab sites on your smartphone or whatever. To move towards a more self-sufficient kind of song learning requires that we actually memorise the chord sequence. So that's the song learning process that we're going to look at next. And my first tip about memorising is to break the habit of reading the chords. Here's the rhythm chart for one of Bob Dylan's lesser known tunes, Blind Willie McTell. And here are the chord shapes I suggest using for this. First, Check that you know these chords and can play them without reference to the diagrams. If necessary, back up the videotape and take a bit of time to learn them. OK, here's your chord shape test. Play each of the chords as I call them out in random order and make sure they sound the same as mine. D A B seventh, E minor, C, A, E minor, D, C, B seventh. OK, if any of those sounded dodgy, check out the shapes you're using against the chord diagrams again. Now, on to the sequence. Look at the first line, and now I advise you to apply my second tip to memorising chord sequences, which is to consciously and deliberately look for patterns. In this case, you can quickly see that the first two bars are repeated in bars three and four. So that already simplifies things. Now play through that first line without looking at the chords while I show you a picture of the song's subject. Did what you played sound something like this? If you didn't get it first time, simply back up the video to the chord sequence and check to see where you went wrong. Now look at the second line. And again, see if you can spot any patterns. First thing I see is that the fifth bar is the same as the first and third bars. So I make a mental note of that. I also notice that the last three chords take us back to the key chord E minor in alphabetical order. C, D, E minor. So the only bar I haven't got a trick for is the 6th bar. 
So I need a way to remember that D and then A come after the B seventh. One way to do this is to look for physical similarities in the chord shapes. And in this case, what pops out straight away is that the first two chords, B7 to D, have these two notes in common, even though they're held down by different fingers. Then to get from D to A, this note comes back one fret and is joined by these two. So that's my link. I focus in on those two notes, remember to add that one, then I take that one down and add those two. So that's kind of a physical link between those chords. All that matters in terms of fixing these sequences in memory is that you make yourself go through some sort of mental process. We all work a bit differently in this respect. Some of us respond best to visual or kinesthetic connections. Kinesthetic meaning muscle memory. So this way of doing things would particularly suit them. Others respond better to verbal connections. So maybe connecting the three letters B, D and A together in some way would help them. Perhaps they'd think Hmm, that's an anagram of the word bad. It's the word bad spelt badly. The quirkier the idea, the better it sticks in the memory. If you've never really tried these sort of memorising tricks before, you may be pleasantly surprised at how well they work for all sorts of things. Here's the sequence again for you to test yourself against. Look for a few seconds. Now play what you remember. In the next soundbite, we'll move on to another song learning method, learning songs by ear. If you found this little video helpful, please do click on the like button if there is one or leave a comment and do feel free to share the video with your friends. And if you'd like to gain full access to all our guitar teaching materials, please visit the Secret Guitar Teacher site and take a free look round at what's available there. See you again soon.